Good morning, folks. This isn't major hail or a major blizzard, and accompanied by temperatures that only got down into the lower 30s and high 20s means this isn't a major winter event. Except it's springtime in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the western side of the earth spot low that rocked the southern states last night is driving frigid air south over the desert and the mobile observatory. More on the weather at the end. Let's now go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star to mirror previous ones. Lots of little surges and pops to be seen, but nothing resembling major space weather. On the southwestern limb, departing our view, a sister filament to the major one exiting as well did release. It was not a massive CME and it will not impact Earth's magnetic field. Amazing that the one to the north stayed calm and continues turning. Far side of the sun got active as well. Left side, recently departed sunspot that was silent while facing Earth began ripping flares and small CMEs in the last day. Flash and coronal ripple, easily visible. Back to this, no solar flares and no sunspots to really help them out. The lone active region turns away and we're unlikely to see major development. In the solar wind telemetry, yellow speed begins to plateau and come down as the coronal hole stream from the north ends and we wait for the next one, should be stronger. That's because this coronal hole, like the southern polar extension and the bottom left dark patch incoming, are all part of the vastly more powerful southern SPF and IMF. Upticks expected, and upticks continue as the third volcano in just a few days has erupted in Mexico. Popo joins Alaska and the Philippines as having fire-breathing mountains at the moment. Top news today includes an update on Hitomi. Unfortunately, it does indeed appear the satellite has broken. Joint operations with JAXA are tracking what could have been the best X-ray satellite ever made. On a positive and much more aesthetically fascinating note, scientists have mapped the rocky exoplanet apparently in its volcanic stage. A lava world where half is liquid and the night side cools down to solid. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org remember the lessons on rocky worlds from our Starwater series, what comes after the gaseous outflow of volcanoes. <laughs> Speaking of the website, new deeper look posted last night and the Jupiter flash phenomenon has been looked at again. We've got great footage from 2010, 2012, and now 2016, and some of it suggests these flashes are not caused by an impactor. I think it's relatively plain to the eye to see for the 2012 event if you give it a chance. Anyway, folks, I mentioned this briefly earlier. The eastern side of the Earth spot low that is freezing me out west is driving heat energy in a convergence line through the south central and southeastern states. Tulsa, Oklahoma got whacked with tornadoes last night. And tonight we'll expect similar activity as the cell moves eastward and begins dropping the storms in Alabama and Georgia, maybe a bit north as well. That was our top weather alert for today. Got some residual rain in Europe and a low pressure earth spot heading for New Zealand, but normal awareness and forecast checks are all you need there. We've got current global conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the desert. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.